In the remote Indian Ocean near Indonesia, scientists are trying to unlock secrets of the deep. Beneath the red float, dozens of instruments have been measuring the waters for over 18 months, storing information on currents, temperature and salinity. It's scientific gold for the international team mapping the flow of warm water from the Pacific into the Indian Ocean. Really it represents a huge energy flux, a huge amount of heat that goes, uh, that, that the, uh, the ocean's taking up in the Pacific and it's transferring it into the Indian Ocean so it can be released elsewhere back into the atmosphere and warm a completely far away part, part of the world. As this powerful Indonesian current changes, temperatures go up and down on surrounding continents. It drives floods and droughts, including the longest running drought in Australian history, which is drying the southeastern Murray-Darling Basin, where most of the nation's food is grown. In the last decade, we've learned of, uh, how the Indian Ocean has very strong climate activity uh, that includes variation from one season to the next and in, in important ways that it's changing with climate change. It's very important for Australia. But no ocean current operates alone. The flow of water is like a conveyor belt, one feeding into the next, influencing weather patterns around the world. The waters around Australia form a complex intersection between the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Here at the very southern tip of Tasmania, deep ocean currents are driving the circulation of the global ocean conveyor belt, transferring heat from the tropics down to the icy region of the Antarctic. Oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface, but only now are we beginning to understand their full influence on climate. The race is on to use this information to picture what the future might hold. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Hobart, Australia.